All right, let's talk about relations, functions, domains, and ranges. But first, what we do need to do is we need a definition. Relation is any set of ordered pairs. The set of all first components of the ordered pairs is called the domain. The set of all second components is called the range. All right, now that we know what a relation is, let's go through. I've set aside three relationships. I want to talk about the ins and outs of them. Yeah, I want to list their domains and their range. This first one over here, my relation V. Yeah, um, the domain of V is the set of all of its first elements, or two, four, six. Yes. Um, let's list the range. The range of V. Okay. Um, the range is the set of all second elements. Okay. In this correspondence, this is three. Okay. And five. Some of you guys are like, isn't that the Y value? You can see, um, you could see it that way. That's safe. All right. So we've listed their domains and ranges. Okay. On my next example. Um, relation C. Yeah, to me we see that our domain is the set of all first elements, or two, three, and four. The range of C, sure, that's the set of all second elements. So one's in there, and one's in there. Now I brought this example up because in a set you don't repeat elements. Right, one is in there, and two is in there. Okay, now let's look at the now let's look at the last relation. Yes, the last relation. The domain of relation E is a set of all first elements. Two, I have a repeated value, but I'm not going to repeat it. And three, T he, T he, the 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 range of that is going to be one, three, and four or the set of all second elements. Now we need to talk about functions, but first we need a definition. Function is a correspondence from the first set called the domain to the second set called the range, such that each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. Now that we've got a definition for this function, why don't we test these three relationships to see whether or not they're a function. Sure. What I want to do is I want to make a map. I want to make a map from my first set to my second set, aka from my domain to my range, aka from my inputs to my outputs. Here we see two goes with three. So two goes to three. Four goes to five. Four goes to five. And six goes to seven. Very nice. Is this a function? Does each first element correspond to exactly one second element. This one only goes to one, this one only goes to one, this one only goes to one. This is a function. Okay, let's take a look at our second relation. Right, we know a relation is a function if each first element goes to exactly one cell a second element. Two goes to one, we see that. That's nice. Okay, three also goes to one. Oh no! And then four goes to two. All right, let's talk and see if this is a function. Yeah, does each first element go to exactly one second element? Two only goes to one, three only goes to one, and four only goes to two. Yes, this is a function. It works. I'm cruising to my E relation. I'm looking at this. It appears two goes to one. All right, and two also goes to three. Remember I'm mapping the domain to the range. And then three goes to four? Is this a function? No. Why not? Because this domain element has more than one range element. So it doesn't have exactly one in the relation. This is not a function.